This Sunday is International Holocaust Remembrance Day, and our own Shai DeLuca is here to tell us why he has partnered with Camera on Campus to help Jewish students fight the rise of anti-Semitism around the world. Good morning, Shai. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So let's talk a little bit about um, how we just said it's like two two sides to one coin right. with you, because we're used to seeing Happy Shai talking about yeah. fashion and interior design, but of course, you're yeah. equally passionate about this. So talk to us a little bit about your background. Yeah, so you know, uh, the rise in anti-Semitism uh, here in the state the world over is just it's staggering uh, there was a stat in the US that the uh, number of crimes against Jewish people has ri risen by 60% from the year prior here in Canada last year we had over 1700 incidents against Jewish people and it it was so shocking to me and I realized I need to use my public platform the same way you guys do uh, to really speak out about this because I have this amazing platform and it was irresponsible of me not to use it to talk about the hard issues and this is one of those hard issues that's really important to me so mm -hmm. I have uh, a great friend uh, Mazig, who had been doing this for a while mm -hmm. and I said to him you know I want to get involved and uh, he introduced me to camera on campus which is an amazing organization uh, that stands for the Committee on Accuracy in Middle East Reporting in America, but they really uh, embolden and help uh, uh, give power to Jewish students on campus to fight anti-Semitism because, guys, that's where it's starting now. It's on university campuses, mm -hmm. and it is shocking. Is there a genuine fear then for these students? I mean, these students have fears to come to school. We're talking about, uh, you know, our own Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was at Brock University a couple weeks ago, and he had made a, a comment saying that as long as in Canada, Jewish students are afraid to go to school because they are so worried about things like Israel Apartheid Week, people, you know, jumping on them as they get to school, well, we have a problem. We have a problem. Many articles were released yesterday, both American and Canadian, saying that within our countries, yeah. in Canada, Canada and the U.S. Millennials, uh, students, they are unaware of the Holocaust, yeah. which is shocking to so all of us. Thirds of millennials didn't know about the Holocaust. The so Washington Post. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right? So the Washington Post released an article. Two thirds of millennials do not know what the word Auschwitz is. And I read that, my jaw was on the floor, mm -hmm. thinking to myself, you know, our, we have one of the best education systems here. The U.S. certainly is, you know, uh, ranking high. How is it that you do not know what Auschwitz is? We have to do better. And if we don't learn these things, as the saying goes, we are doomed to repeat those same mistakes. Absolutely. So what is Camera hoping to do? What are they working on? So, you know, the thing is, is that we have to look at anti-Semitism for what anti-Semitism was traditionally, as opposed to what it is today. Anti-Semitism, traditionally, people know, because people know about the Holocaust, although, like we said, millennials are, you know, going to need an education. Mm -hmm. But anti-Semitism today has taken on a new face. It's what we call anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism. So I think it's really important that we uh, tell our viewers, first of all, what Zionism is, because that term has really taken on a negative, uh, almost a negative connotation, mm -hmm. and by no fault of our own, but by the fault of those who are looking to demonize. Okay. So Zionism is the right of the Jewish people to self-determination in our indigenous homeland. Nothing more, nothing less. Every people has that right to self-determination. So, you know, uh, when people say, well, Israel, you know, doesn't have a right to exist. Israel shouldn't be there. That's a problem. Now, I want to be, I want to be very uh, clear. Giving criticism to the government or government policy is absolutely okay. Israelis are the most critical of our government mm -hmm. that could possibly be. But we talk about the three Ds, dehumanizing and delegitimizing, uh, double standard, and demonizing, uh, demonizing of Israel. If any of those three things, when you are talking about the state of Israel, fall into that category, you are then crossing a line into anti-Semitism and not just legitimate criticism of the government. And and that's how this new face has come about because people are so conscious and they're worried about people saying, you know what, you're overtly anti-Semitic. We have to find a way to do it in a way that is not as overt. And we have to talk about it. So how do people get a hold of speakers like yourself yeah. or schools? How does that work so that you can come and talk to classes right. or gymnasiums it's, and inform and help inform? Yes, absolutely. So Camera on Campus is the uh, is the organization that I'm working with. Uh, you can reach them at Camera on Campus. Of course, there's uh, CameraOnCampus.org, I think is their uh, website. And, you know, this is a great, it's a great initiative. I did an entire 
prior tour in the UK uh, about a month and a half ago, mm -hmm. uh, Scotland, um, Ireland, uh, England, of course. It was an amazing tour. This uh, April, I'm doing the US and Canada, so we've already com almost completely booked. We're going coast to coast to coast. Uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, the students, the response, mm. I have to say, blew my mind. It makes everything worth it because seeing these students come up to me afterwards and saying, we didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know. And, you know, shaking my hand and saying, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. About it, it the world's history or our own history. Yeah, it we just said, sounds like it's a chance for everybody to have a conversation. Yeah. Yes. We yes. weren't taught about residential schools, and yeah. now the kids are be, it's yes. been part of the curriculum. So we have to make sure we definitely talk about the Absolutely. history so, again, we don't make the same mistakes. You Thank it. you, Shai. For more information, if you'd like Shai to visit your school as he's doing these tours, uh, just message him at Shai DeLuca or at Camera on Campus. We'll have the link, breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you, Shai. Thanks, guys. Let's head over now to Stella. Oh, we're going to break first. Stella after.